we have a brand new feature. You can now add a custom input field directly to your product pages. Let me show you how we've implemented it here on our demo. So we have this product here, this bottle, and when I click into it, there is this custom input field right here. And we have configured it so this is used for engraving. So this new custom input field feature is perfect if you sell customized items. Now, what's nice is when your customer fills this out, it follows this product through the order and through the fulfillment. So let me demonstrate. Say I want to have this word engraved on this bottle. When I click buy now, here is the checkout. And you can see here, it's showing me the product I'm buying, the variation, which is black, but it also says engraving. And then it says what I entered to have be engraved. This new custom input field is perfect for personalized products like engraving or adding a name on a gift. Customers can type exactly what they want right when they're ordering. And here's the best part. Whatever they enter follows the order. You'll see it in the back end. So fulfilling personalized items is easy and organized. It opens up so many new possibilities for your store, anything from custom messages, special instructions, or unique details can now be collected directly when they're adding the product to the cart. Let me show you how to set this up on your store. Now to do this, you're gonna be exposed to some features in ShirtCart that you might not know were there. So what I wanna do is for this product right here, when I click into it, I want to have that custom input field, but for other products such as this one, I don't want to have that custom input field. So this is gonna expose you to a powerful feature in SureCart that's very easy to use, and that is creating custom product page templates. And you can do so much with this, but we're gonna use it in a basic way to create a custom template for products that we want to offer engraving for. So I'm gonna click into this product, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the edit product option here in the top left in the admin bar. And I wanna direct you to this area here that says template. And what this is, is allowing you to choose the product template that is used to display all this information here for this particular product. So you can do some really custom things here. Now you can see it says template and then it says default. On this site, I created another template. But first, what we want to do is create a new template just for these products that are going to have this personalization feature on. So I'm going to click right here where it says new because I want to create a new template. So I'll click on new and I simply need to give it a name and I'm going to give it the name personalized. Then I'm going to click on create. Now you can name it whatever you want. And you can see it's already selected this template for me. Now what we need to do is go into the template and add that custom input put field exactly where we would like it. So we click right here where it says edit template. It opens up in a new tab and here is the template. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the blue plus in the top left and this is gonna reveal all of the components we can add to the product page here. And so what I'm going to do is click where I want it. So I'm going to want it right above this add to cart button. And then I'm going to choose the field that's named product note. Now I can scroll down and it's going to show me all the, the different components I can add to this product page. But what I'm looking for is product note. And here it is. Alternatively, I could have searched for product note. So I'm going to click on this and it just got added to my layout, but it looks like it got added underneath my buttons, which is fine. I'm going to scroll over here and I'm going to click this up arrow and it just moved it exactly where I want it. Now, the first thing you may want to do is click where it says note. You can double click on it and put the word there or the phrase there that you want. In this case, I'm going to put engraving. Now let's take a look at some of the options. The first option is this area here where it says add a note. You can customize that as well. If you needed to add some additional instructions, there's an option to add it underneath this input box. And both of those are going to be found right here where it says the labels. So if I click on the plus and I click on placeholder, 
I can now customize this add a note text. So I entered enter your custom engraving message here. Now let me show you the other option, which was help text. So I'm going to choose help text and now I can enter something here and you can see I filled this out. I put fill this out if you want this product customized just right there. Now you also have some styling options. You can click this option here for styling. You can customize the topography, the colors, the spacing and the padding all very easily to make this match your brand and your personal style. Now all that's left to do is click on the save option and then I'm going to get out of this product template creator. I'm going to click on the WordPress logo on the top left and then I'm going to click on it a second time to back out even further. Now I'm going to visit the front of my store and here is that product and when I click into it you're going to see that it's not displaying and that's because when I created the new template I did not save the change of the template for this product. Very easy fix. Let me click on edit product. Now for every product that you want that custom engraving box to appear, you would go into the product for the template. We would choose that new one we created called personalized. And then we would click on save product. And now when I click on view product here in the top left, you're going to see here is that custom input message right here for custom engraving. And when I go to other products in my store, such as this hoodie, you're gonna see that it doesn't display the custom input box because I created a custom product template just for products that I want to have that engraving for. So let me show you that again. So we added it to this subscribe and save product. Say I also wanted to add it to this product right here. Very simple. Now for any of the products in my store, I can click on edit product, change the template, the personalized, click on save, and then I can view it and you're going to see that it has the custom input filled in it. So now let's test this. I'm going to click on subscribe and save. I'm going to fill this out. I'll scroll down. I'll click on add to cart and you can see I have my product name and then it says engraving and then what I entered appear appears right here as well. Now I'm going to click on checkout and we'll see the same thing. Here's my product and there it is engraving good times. Now if you've had your SureCard store for a while it might not show this in this order summary line item and there's something that is very easy to do for this. So if you're not seeing this appear in the cart or the checkout, it just means that we've updated the design since you've installed SureCart and it's a very simple solution. So let me walk you through that. I'm gonna go to SureCart, I'm gonna go to the dashboard, I'm gonna click right here where it says SureCart and I'll actually click where it says Cart. This is gonna take you to where you can customize your cart. I'm gonna open up the list view here on the top left I'll click right here where it says cart, click on replace, and then I'll click where it says default cart. And what this is going to do is it's going to get you the new cart design that we recently released. And it will also include the information for these custom input fields. Now I'll click on save and then I'll back out of here by clicking on the WordPress logo twice, just like this. And if you haven't customized the checkout form, you can do the same thing for that. If it's not appearing, you can go to SureCart, go down here to where it says checkout, then click on this gray bar twice, one, two, and now you'll see this option here on the right that says change template. When you click on that, click on OK, and I'm going to choose this checkout template here. This is the default one. I'll click on next, and then I'll click on create, and now it's reset my checkout form. I'll click on save, and then save. Now I can back out of here by clicking on the WordPress logo and now I'm going to go back to the store and then you can see I already have it added to my cart. I'll click on it and I have my engraving. I'll click on checkout and you can see I have my engraving there as well. So what I'm going to do is place a test order. Now I'm clicking the purchase button. Now I'm going to click on continue. Now I'm going to go take a look at my orders. I'm going to hover over short cart, click on orders. We can see the order is right here. I'll click into it and you can see it's followed the product 
directly into the order. Right here it says engraving and it has what the customer entered. And that's it. With the new input field, your customers can provide personalization or special instructions right on the product page. No extra forms, no confusion, no extra plugins. Everything comes through with the order so you can fulfill personalized products effortlessly. It's a small change that opens up entirely new products and revenue opportunities for your store. Try it out and let me know in the comments what creative ways you're going to use for this feature. And don't forget, like this video, click on the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more tips to make your store smarter and more profitable.